Hey y'all, it's Diane with Shaw Craft One and my old barn door. And I'm back with another pocket video. I'm sorry I made the last one so long. I didn't even realize it was being that long. So I will try to make this one shorter. Um, and I can't fit any more pockets in my journal. So because this is just my prototype, but I have more journals that I'm working on, but they're not put together yet. So anyways, um, we'll get to that. So let's just go ahead and get started making our next pockets. So the next pocket we have is this cute little pocket here, just a little small pocket. And you have a pocket here, a little tuck here, and then this little flap over the back that you can actually make another pocket on too. And the whole point of the little flap, let me just grab the journal real quick, is so that when you um, when you put it in your journal, <laughs> if I can find an empty spot, okay, this one's empty enough, you know, you can hang this over the top of your page like that, and then it, it you can flip it up. So you can actually glue this portion down to the page, make a little pocket here, or you can glue on each side here and make this a little top tuck here. Um, but then you have your pocket here and your little tuck here. So let's just make this real quick. So I'm just gonna grab um, a vintage book page. These are, um, I kinda want you to understand or kinda wanted to show you that you can make really cute pockets out of the pages that you wouldn't normally use, you know, like you're looking at this like, you know, that's really not doing anything for me. But it doesn't matter, this is just your base. So all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, I'm gonna tear this in half um, vertically. Um, so, because I don't need a pocket that, you know, as big as the page. So I'm just gonna tear this in half. Okay, get rid of this piece, maybe. All right, and then all we're gonna do is we're gonna fold this part up and you're gonna fold it um, to about halfway, maybe a little less. Okay, so you're just gonna fold it straight up like that, and then we're just gonna put glue here and glue here. And then once you have it glued down, then you're gonna just flip it over, and you're just gonna fold this side back and fold it straight across. Okay, so that makes your little tuck to tuck it over the top of the page, and then you have a little pocket here. So super cute, super quick, super easy. I'll do it again. So just a quick fold up from the bottom and then a quick fold down from the top and you have a super cute little pocket, okay? And I love this one. I love that it has the little numbers. So I'm gonna do a, maybe a craft with me video and we'll decorate some of these pockets that we've made. I don't have any of these decorated to show you, um, but they're still, they're super cute. So. Um, be sure you check out um, the craft with me videos. Okay, so pocket number two is going to be what they are calling a tuxedo pocket. This is the first time I had saw it or seen it or whatever. I'm trying to get proper English. Anyway, I saw it from Barbara. She's with 49 Dragonflies and it's called the tuxedo pocket. Okay, so it's just it just looks like this right here. Okay, and you can take any kind of paper that you want to do it with. I have one of my digitals here, and I hope I haven't overwhelmed y'all with showing you the digitals through these videos, but I've just, I have done a lot of video, I mean, a lot of digitals in the month of January, and I've just gotten them into the shop, so I just kind of want you to know that they're there for you to play with. All right, so basically, you're just going to take the, um, your paper, and it's according to the size of your journal that you, you know, whatever size you need for your journal. So, like... This one would fit really well in here as a pocket, but you can do them bigger too, okay? But I just wanna show you the fold, all right? So basically, whatever side you want to do it on, I would suggest using um, a double-sided page for this. So we're just gonna fold this page in thirds, okay? You don't have to measure, I'm not measuring. If you wanna measure, you're more than welcome to, but you know, I'm not going to. Um, all right, so we're just gonna fold it in even thirds, okay? So, and it doesn't matter if it's a little off, so I'm gonna come back a little bit with this one, like that. And let me just make sure I'm good. Yeah, see, I, I need to come in just a little bit more. So you're just basically trying to line everything up 
so that it folds together three times. I'm gonna go ahead and do the crease here, okay? And then you're gonna fold this side in and get it to match up over here on this side. And it's okay if it's a little short. I don't mind that. If you want it to be more precise, that's where the measuring would come in, okay? So there you go. You have this, your, your triple fold, okay? So then what you wanna do is you wanna take the top of this and now I'm realizing I want to do it from the other side. So I'm going to flip this over because I want these pieces to show. So I'm going to go ahead and redo my folds. I'm just going to fold them backwards. Okay. Sorry, I hope that didn't confuse you. All right. And then we're just going to take this, the top corner, and we're going to fold it down pretty much even with, with the side. Okay. And that's going to make your little tuxedo flap. And then we're just going to crease that there. Then we're going to open this up, and we're going to do the same thing to this one. We're going to take this top corner and fold it back to here, like so. Okay, so now you have your little tuxedo flaps. And now you need to get your little pocket on the bottom. So you want to unfold this. You're going to unfold it and flip it over. Okay, and then you're just going to take the bottom and you're gonna fold up. You don't wanna fold all the way up to here because you need a little room in there for you to be able to tuck things in and out of your pocket. Um, so just kind of fold it up like so and just crease all the way across the bottom, okay? So now you have your little tuxedo pocket. Once you fold it back in, and you might have to do a little bit of adjusting, you know, to make sure that they're lined up good and straightly folded or what have you. But there you have your tuxedo fold. How stinking cute is that? So you have a pocket and then you're just gonna glue closed. You know, you'll glue your pockets closed. But this is gonna stay open. So you're all you're gonna glue is the ends that are open. Okay, let me do that. Okay, so I have my little ends glued together and then you can put your goodies in the journal so like you could put a tag here I'm not gonna decorate it but just kind of showing you where all you can you can put things um, so you can put you know a couple pieces of ephemera in this pocket then you open it up and you can put some ephemera in this pocket so we'll put a little piece here and these little pieces are what's gonna hold down your little flaps okay so it makes it a little easier once you get your pockets stuffed and then you can make pockets inside. You can put a pocket here, like um, this is one of the strips from one of my digitals. You could, you know, make you a little pocket here at the bottom. You could do a belly band. You could do a belly band this way, um, but you can make a pocket here. And then you can make pockets on each side as well. So this is a super, super cute pocket. And then once you put it in the your journal, you can either have a pocket on um, on the side or at the top and then you also have a pocket here that you can tuck things in so super super cute little pocket hopefully I didn't confuse you with that fold um, but this is called a tuxedo pocket so thank you so much Barbara with 49 dragonflies she said she saw it somewhere else I can't remember where she said she saw it but you can go check out her video and she'll be able to tell you in that video so there is your tuxedo pocket and the last pocket of the day is this one it's um, I saw this on uh, Rachel did this um, she's with Rach and Bella crafts and um, so it's uh, you have one, two, three, and four pockets. So let me grab a book page. Sweet, I found um, this sweet little music page. Okay, so basically you have your page. So you're gonna fold. I'm gonna turn it over. I don't know. I like that side better. Okay, so I'm gonna fold it in half horizontally. So bring the bottom up to the top evenly and fold. Okay. Once you do that, then you're going to turn it this way, and you're going to fold again. Just fold it right in half. So basically, you're just folding your paper into fours, okay? Once you have that done, you're going to turn it back vertically towards you. Then you're going to go up here to this um, corner, and you can do this from either side. You can flip it over and do it from this side if you need that side pocket, or you can do it from this side, okay? So you're just going to take this, 
and you're going to come almost all the way to the edge. I don't go all the way to the edge just because it's a little easier not to. And you're just going to fold it into a triangle just like that. Okay? Then once you finish that, you're going to grab the next layer and you're going to kind of bring it towards the middle of your first fold. In other words, bring this tip so that it kind of lines up with this tip, okay? But you want it to be at a right angle, okay? So once you get it where you want it, and it's not, it doesn't have to be precise, then you fold. You just do your crease, okay? And then you take your next layer and you're gonna do the same thing. You're just gonna fold that down, okay? So you just fold just like that. Once you get all your folds done, then um, you can decide where you go from here. And what I mean is you're going to take these flaps and you're going to tuck them underneath, okay? If you don't have a paper that you like, you can fold the flaps backwards. It's basically whatever you want to see, okay? So once you have all of that done, then you have your pocket. Super simple, super easy. And the only other thing that you're going to do is you're going to take your glue, and I'm just going to use a glue stick because you just want to... Um, glue these down. Now this one you might leave um, open on the bottom or the side so that you could use it for a tuck. So I'm just going to put a lip, I'm, I'm not going to use the glue stick because it's not going to work as good. I prefer wet glue most of the time. Alright, so I'm just going to take my glue and I'm going to glue from the fold to the corner. Okay, and that way that is glued down and you can use this as a tuck. Okay, then I'm going to pull, pull this fold out, and basically all I'm going to do is just put a little dab of glue there in the corner and tuck it back in. It's just basically to hold it down, okay? So now that's glued down. You're going to do the same thing with this one. Tuck it back under and glue it down, and then you're going to glue your sides. So you glue here. Whoops. I went a little crazy with the glue. So you glue there, you glue here. You're just basically closing up all your sides. And then this side is open too. And you can leave a side open if you want to, if it would be easier for you to leave a side open. It's, you know, it's very versatile. You can do it however you want to do it. So now that we have everything glued shut, we have a pocket that we can use in our journal. Super, super cute. So you have a pocket here, pocket here, pocket here, and then either a pocket in behind or a pocket on the side. So those are our three pockets that we have for video today. And I don't have any of these um, that are decorated, um, but we will do, I'll do a craft with me video and we can decorate some of the pockets. So there's those pockets. There's these pockets. These are the very first ones that we did. And then our tuxedo fold pocket, which I think is super cute. So those are our three pockets for the day. If you have any comments or questions, leave them in the comment box below. Don't forget to like and subscribe for me if you will. And I hope y'all have a wonderful day. Big hugs.